beautiful butter-poached maritime lobster. Absolutely zero lobsters in Foothills County. They're not exactly running around the fields. The lobster must be perfectly parboiled, expertly shelled, and then poached in butter. If you want to break down a lobster, you need two thumbs. I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this pressure test. The trick, the great lobster, it's all about timing. You overcook it even by a mere second, the meat will taste and feel like rubber. That's a lot of pressure, especially since you're only gonna have 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes to get into a claw. Please head to your stations. At your stations, you have everything you need to prepare us the perfect butter poach lobster. This lobster needs to be more than perfect. The hardest part is going to be getting those darn claws out whole. Your 20 minutes start now! This is so hard. It's extremely stressful. I've butter poached lobster before, and I'm not going to let anything stop me from staying in this competition. Julia did not put any vinegar in the water. The vinegar helps to release the meat from the shell. It really works well. I'm feeling quite confident. I'm a fighter, and a lobster is not going to send me home. You've got to cook the lobster, de-shell it. Then you have to make a beautiful, flavorful butter, and then gently poach it. I'm going to infuse my butter with tarragon and vanilla, and that'll really bring out the sweetness of the lobster. Julia's okay. taken out the lobster too early, which means the meat is going to stick to the shell. The lobster tells you when it's ready. Lobster's got to be vibrant, glistening red. Presentation is critical in this challenge. You've got to have it beautifully deshelled. The claws have got to be whole, the knuckles have to be whole. I just know i got to wiggle these out so I can get the claw totally intact. Ah. I don't know how to do this without my thumb. Ten minutes! You have ten minutes left! The clock is ticking like crazy. Come on, you just never give up. Okay, I fully lost the freaking claw. Julia is mangling the lobster. Shit. I'm missing a piece of the claw. That's one of the main elements to the presentation. Look at Veronica. She is still trying to remove the lobster from the shell. I can't get it open. Two minutes, you have two minutes left. Wow, Terry's already played it. This is not just about speed, it's about quality. And he's not taking advantage of extra time. If I were him, I'd be using my time to make sure it's perfect. There's like lobster chunks flying everywhere. People are struggling to get their lobster out of their shell. It's a complete madhouse down there. 30 seconds! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up! I'm looking around me, and I'm seeing the other lobster plates. Mine look a little bit better than theirs do. It hurts a lot getting the tail out of the shell, but I managed to do it perfectly. I'm so happy. Hello, Julia. Hi, Chef Michael. How are you feeling? I'm not happy about this presentation. Looking a little butchered there, isn't it? You have the whole tail? Yes. Fully out? Yes, sir. One claw. One claw. It's a shame. Claw number two, much better. Do you think you've perfectly cooked this lobster? I don't know. Well, let's take a look. I want to see no semi-translucent tail meat, but just beautiful, cooked to the perfect degree. Just maybe a hair on the underside. Nice flavor of tarragon in there. Thank you. You know that claw, it's hard to look at. It is. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Matthew. Hi, Chef. The claws, a little bit messy on this one, but this one is quite nice. The tail is the most important part. What do I want to see? You want it to see it a little bit moist, Chef, and yes. just cooked. That looks perfectly done. What did you do for the butter? Vanilla, tarragon, and salt. Wow, this is heavenly. I love that flavor. Fantastic. 
vanilla in his butter, and that just makes so much sense to me. I just want to eat his lobster. Hmm. Happy? I think I'm happy. You had extra time to spare that we all know in this kitchen is a luxury. You definitely get first prize for speed. Thank you, chef. However, this ain't so good for you, Terry. It's the vein, the intestinal tract. The devil is in the details. This teeny tiny vein is gonna send me home today. What happens if this is not perfectly cooked lobster? I could go home, chef. You could. It's perfectly cooked, though. Hmm. You robbed the lobster, spending an extra two and a half minutes in that butter. Big, big mistake. I know I've screwed up. Big time. Hello, Veronica. It's a little sloppy, isn't it? It's not my usual quality. And was it just tarragon you put in your butter bath? No, I added some salt. So for this to be perfect, that almost clear flesh should be just lightly white, where the heat has just been able to penetrate through. I think that looks perfect to me. I happen to think you're right. Very nice cook on that lobster. A little bit of tarragon comes through, a nice fresh flavor. Perfect combination with lobster. Thank you. April Lee, do you think you pulled this off? I struggled getting my claws out, but um, I'm a fighter. Perfectly cooked, perfectly cleaned. Yes! What was the flavor that you infused the butter with? Tarragon and star anise. It's perfect. Thank you. You took the lack of experience and completely overcame that with sheer determination. Incredible.